What's going on, Jet fans? I was going back through my notes in a Google Doc of just watching Dalvin Cook in like three game chunks over last season. And I noticed as the season was progressing, uh, it got more and more negative on Cook. And then after he signed, I kind of went back to the beginning and I made some notes and I saw that they were more positive. And I'm just like, all right, well, I guess I was just being uh, hypercritical the more you watch a player. And then maybe I just kind of started being a homer after he was a Jet. But I think there's more to it than that. And I think that it actually bodes pretty well for the specific thing that the Jets are trying to get out of Dalvin Cook, plus a uh, part of his game that is still a little bit untapped potentially, even though it's just late in his career. So I'm looking at the notes. I'm like, I look at the game logs. I look at the game logs in like September, October, and his production um, has decreased dramatically month over month over month. And I'm like, damn, is this like a sign that this dude is washed, kind of like Ezekiel Elliott last year, um, averaging less than two yards a carry down the back, the back nine. But I go back and throughout his whole entire career, he's pretty much been this way. And there is a, all running backs have a slight decline um, in efficiency as the year goes on marginally, but his is a huge outlier. He starts strong and he just finishes slow. I don't know um, what to attribute that to in terms of him versus your average running back. But what do the Jets need Dalvin Cook for primarily? They need somebody to shoulder the volume while Brees Hall uh, ramps up. So I think that could actually work out pretty perfectly if Dalvin Cook is Mr. September and October. And then after a Halloween, when Brees has kind of shaken the rust off, if there's a little bit of a passing of the baton and then Brees is ready to handle the workload. I don't think anybody in this room is going to be a bell cow. Um, they're both too good. They're both too well Dalvin too highly paid and Brees too highly drafted to take a back seat um and you have other backs in there who can play too it's a good problem to have but I did think that was pretty interesting furthermore uh I was watching the Jets preseason game and I know preseason games are heavy in checkdowns and screens in general but uh Aaron Rodgers has thrived on throwing the football to his running backs as much as any elite quarterback in the NFL and Hackett has featured his running backs in the passing game wherever he's been. And Cook, it's, it hasn't been used that way. Now, he does have subpar hands. Um, that is true. And I, I don't know if he's a great route running back per se. But the one thing I've noted about Cook the entire time with all the, the, the positive and the negative and everything in there is twitched up. That's the word I keep using. He has twitch in his legs uh, that very few running backs have had. Uh, it's Brees Hall and Curtis Martin are the only two running backs I've seen in the Jets uniform that just have that gear of lateral agility and acceleration. Um, I'm not saying he's going to, you know, not saying those guys are all even, but in that specific regard, I'm like, dude, you can just get a linebacker ISOed on an option route, on an angle route, on a, on the wheel routes that are uh, heavily involved in Nathaniel Hackett's mesh concept. Um, or just the, the screen games that Izzy was popping in because you get him out in, in space and, and that's where he thrives. He struggled to run through contact. He's not the most creative uh, in terms of making people miss, but he's got the nitrous. And I think that is a, a part of his game that is a little bit untapped. And you just see Brees Hall right back at practice. And how does he score his first touchdown at practice? He's split out um, and he cooks, a, I'm assuming, a linebacker or a safety that followed him over there. So, there it is. Does this change that Dalvin Cook's, you know, drops or fumbles or pass pro or any of that stuff we've covered? It doesn't, but uh, it's some perspective that I think is encouraging. You know, start the season strong with Dalvin, finish it strong with Brees, and uh, untap some of Dalvin Cook's athleticism in the passing game. And we'll talk all soon.